Let's go where I left in my previous video, the splitting of the brain. My guess is that this is created by a mirror. So the question is, can this mirror be created through radiation? So let's take a look at the electromagnetic spectrum. Remember from a previous video. While the Earth is rotating, we are also making an analemma. Going to the right, going to the left, going with the flow, going against the flow. Going with the current is easy. Going against the current is very difficult. That gave us two reflections. The speeding up version gave us the moon and the slowing down version gave us the sun. Take a look again at the electromagnetic spectrum. In the center you have visible light. Brings us to the pyramid. Take a look at the wave. Long wave gives you radio waves and infrared. Short wave gives you X-ray and gamma ray. This means that the long wave, the infrared, is creating the sun. The short wave, the violet, is creating the moon. Now take a look at the X-ray. This might be interesting. Because people sometimes ask me, if the moon is a reflection of the earth, why don't we see rivers, or trees, or color? Well, the answer might be, it's because it's an X-ray. Take a look again at the kaleidoscope. Let's say there is a core reality. When this core reality is changed, all the rest of the kaleidoscope realities are also changed. That means that reality is repeating itself at all levels. So if the parasite is lying next to our crater, it will also be lying next to the bigger earth. And this reality will also repeat itself inside the crater. Now remember this one, one of my favorites. Without knowing, the spider has a parasite lying in its neck. Now if we are in a kaleidoscope reality, then the crater might be our brain. Now if the crater is our brain, where would be the parasite? Now wait a minute, didn't I make a video where I said that the cerebellum, the arbor vitae, was our real organic brain? The tree of life. People sometimes mail me, why don't you give some solutions? Why don't you give us some advice? Well, this is the reason. I was in darkness for a while, but then suddenly someone mailed me a word. Of course, the forbidden tree. Wasn't it God who said, whatever you do, don't go to the forbidden tree? Now let's take our brain. You have the forest, the forbidden tree, the voice of the forest, God, the voice of the forbidden tree. The snake. So what voice are you listening to? 
Now this story is probably very old. The Eye of Ra. The Consciousness of the Invader. The Cerebellum. Karaba. The Scarab. Karaba. Same shape. When you invert it, you get the image of Mitras. Mitras always has a long leg and a short one. Why is that? Let's take a look again at the electromagnetic spectrum. Mitras with the dagger, creating visible light. Long leg on the left, torch down. The long wave creates the sun. Short leg on the right, torch up. The short wave creates the moon. So Mitras stands for the cerebellum. Long leg, short leg. Long leg, short leg. The god brain and the parasitic brain. Do you know this one? The Mitras bull and the Jetro tull. So Mitras is probably Minos Taurus, Dinos Saurus. The Dragon Slayer, the Archangel Michael, the Archon. The English flag. The organic brain sometimes is the bull, the dragon, the Christ. This is probably the real reptilian brain. Then you have the forbidden tree, the snake, the scarab, the Mitras, the Archangel Michael, the Romans, the Queen, the English, the Renaissance, the rebirth of Adam. Sometimes the Christ is the organic brain and sometimes it is Mitras. The good criminal is going to heaven the bad criminal is going to hell. Isis, Osiris and the birth of Horus, the visible light. The question is, what video are you going to play in your head? The video in paradise with God? Or are you going to be the food source of another creature? However, the most intelligent inhabitants of that future world won't be men or monkeys, they'll be machines, the remote descendants of today's computers. Now, the present day electronic brains are complete morons, but this will not be true in another generation. They will start to think and eventually they will completely outthink their makers. Is this depressing? I don't see why it should be. We superseded the Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal men and we presume we're an improvement. I think we should regard it as a privilege to be stepping stones to higher things. Let's go back to the story of paradise. You have Adam the Atom. Out of the rib of Atom was born Eve, the life energy. In comes the invader, the alien brain. Now God says, don't go into this alien brain. But Eve is not listening and goes in. Now this alien brain is becoming part of the body. Let's say you are transplanting a kidney. After the operation, the question is, will the body accept it or not? 
Another story of Eve was the story of Persephone. By eating the seeds of Hades, she had to go through heaven and hell. Could it be there is a seed for every color? How could you ever realize you are in the matrix when you see the glitches? Something is wrong. And then, in a split second, you see yourself mirrored in the television screen. And then you realize the moon is a reflection of the bigger earth.